All right, so I'm going to go ahead and catch everybody up. If you have not seen part one right now, Alonzo's friends have left to go to another party. Um, the friend that he was riding with left to get some cigarettes and got lost on some back roads. So he called in saying he was not going to make it, and he told somebody to just go ahead and please take the man home. Adam allegedly thought that Zoe had already found the ride, and without making any confirmation, he just went on about his business. Unfortunately, this would be the last party that Zoe would ever attend, because after this, he disappeared. One day after he goes missing, Alonzo's childhood friend, Rodney English, goes searching for him in Lacine. He was not by himself. He brought some more people to help him. They decided to walk towards the light line to see if they could find anything there. They soon discovered Lunzo's hat and boot. Later on to discover that his other boot was laying on the other side of the road. I mean, this was almost like someone was just driving down the road and threw his stuff out the window. This was a white, dominant country town, and allegedly somebody pulled up on Rodney and told him, look, you got to leave. You got to leave. And he said he already knew what type of place this was. You could just feel it. They filed a missing persons report, but of course, as police always going to tell you, they got to be missing for like 24 to 48 hours or something like that for they actually consider them missing. The family was really upset, though, because they knew this was not the type of person to do that. I know everybody says that, but this just fit nothing that he's ever done. They knew something was wrong. Something was definitely wrong. He was missing. The sheriff said he's sure he's just doing what all other kids and teenagers are doing, just walking around. Maybe he decided to walk home, which is crazy because he would have already made it by then. And also he had been playing a basketball game a week prior where he hurt his ankle. So you're not going to walk around without any type of shoe on after you have a hurt ankle. Nobody does that, and you're not going to just toss your shoes and decide to go walking barefooted. They were getting nowhere on this search, and on April the 7th, 2004, the Kansas Bureau of Investigation took over the case. And on April the 10th, three days later, the FBI joins in on the investigation. On April the 12th, rescue teams searched the creek. They searched with three people on each side. They had cadaver dogs. Um, they had a diving team. Their search would find absolutely nothing. Alonzo's mother was so upset at his friends and deservingly so. Whose friends would just leave somebody like that at a party after an altercation like that? The family wanted to search, but the police told them that they had it handled. It would take them 27 days to allow the family to search for their own son. Please follow me for part three.